So former President Donald Trump just survived the second assassination attempt on his life while he was at his West Palm Beach, Florida golf course. Apparently, 58-year-old Caucasian male Ryan Wesley Ruth stuck an AK-47 muzzle through the fence line of the golf course. And that's when Secret Service agents saw him and fired around four to six shots at him. Apparently, he fled the scene immediately in a vehicle that was later tracked down by police after uh, recognizing his license plate from witnesses' statements. So he has been taken into custody, and they're doing a thorough investigation now. So Trump was never shot, and it's actually unclear at this moment if the suspect actually took any shots before he was shot at by Secret Service. This guy was a construction worker with ties to North Carolina and Hawaii. Also, he owned his own roofing company uh, called United Roofing. And ironically, he was a Bernie Sanders supporter, which I don't know why it's ironic, just more uh, unlikely or just, I don't know, crazy to hear. But my whole thing with this is, this is the second assassination attempt on Donald Trump, and if they get their wish, they will immortalize this man. They will turn him into a martyr, increasing the real possibility of a civil war, and also increasing the likelihood that what we get in his place will be that much more devastating.